Hello everyone, I'm representing group two. So my research is on malaria and my research project will aim to highlight the challenges that malaria control faces. So malaria is a very serious disease. Uh, for example, in 2015, it killed over 400,000 people, most of which were in Africa. So what do we know about malaria? We know malaria is caused by a parasite, which is a tiny organism, and this parasite is called plasmodium. The parasite is carried by blood-sucking mosquitoes, and we as humans get it when these mosquitoes bite us and feed on our blood. Once the parasite enters our body, it lives in our blood cells and it multiplies in those cells, and we get sick when this parasite bursts out of our blood cells. Luckily, it's not all bad news. When a person gets sick, we have a test that is able to identify that they're sick. We also have drugs that we're able to give these people to make them better. So why is it that we haven't managed to completely get rid of malaria? One of the reasons is that some of these people, when they get the parasite, they do not get sick. Why is that? This can be explained by the way our body responds to an infection by malaria. How many of you love to read? And I'm sure most of you have been in a library before. So the body's defense system can be explained by using a library as an example. So the body's defense system is called the immune system. And it's basically, it can be compared to a collection of manuals that are used to control a disease. When a person is exposed to malaria for the first time, it can be explained as a new entry of a control manual in that library. The more a person is exposed to malaria, the more the body becomes an expert in controlling this disease. In some people, this control is so strong that it um, makes this person not get sick. It's also strong enough that it makes this person have parasite levels that are below the detection level of some of the current tests. Why is this a problem, a problem for malaria control? This is a problem because if people are not getting sick, even though they have malaria, they will not go to the clinic, and hence they will not get treated but these people will still remain infectious to mosquitoes who will pick up this infection and pass it to the next person. So my project will use community data to try and compare the current tests that are currently being used to identify malaria with a more sensitive new test called PCR. And this information will provide evidence for governments to perhaps change their policies on the types of tests that we use for malaria detection. Thank you.